All right, so welcome back everyone. Before we begin with anything, we have to understand the or underlying technology and that's that's the foundation is the internet. Whatever we are trying to protect that are that are mostly mostly I would say 99% of the time is connected to the internet. All right, so uh, in order to protect that, we have to understand how it works. So the point is we need to understand how internet works, okay? So I'll try to keep it very, very simple so that you get the fundamentals clear, clear, right? We'll talk about the technologies later, but let's take an example and understand it, all right? So in order to understand the internet, the, the, the way the, we, we of course know uh, nowadays we can do anything over the internet. Maybe it's about sending some uh, profile pics. Maybe it's about doing the inter shopping over the internet. Or maybe it's about uh, doing some online transfer, money transfer over the internet as well, right? So for everything, we make use of internet. And everything that works on the internet uh, is works with the fundamental of packets. It's great, right? But let me give you an example and tell you how the packets comes into the picture. Right. So uh, suppose, uh, for example, you have a friend in uh, New York and um, you need a uh, a photograph of a cat, maybe for any purpose, right? Uh, now this this photograph of a cat, you need it, and you are sitting in Tokyo, maybe, all right? And you need this image right away. How exactly internet works is, uh, internet can't really transfer the entire image, entire photograph, entire picture of a cat to actually straight away, right? What exactly it do? It it can it can actually perform is. It has to split, it has to basically fragment the entire image into multiple, multiple sites, multiple, you know, multiple fragments. And that's what is going to happen. It's going to fragment at the source side, at the, uh, at the center side. At the center side, the, the entire information will be fragmented into multiple parts. And this will be uh, put into a a box a kind of a, you know a box a kind of packets you know so this image will be there in the packet and will be ready right ready to be transferred over the internet okay and uh, internet is just a connectivity from one country to the another from one city to the another from one city to another city it's connected to a whole lot of fiber cables all the way from all the way from New York to Tokyo to European country to Asia, everywhere you find it, you see everywhere is the connectivity. It's all because the fiber cables are available, right? So we are talking about the fundamental technology. Now this packets, uh, now this frame, uh, fragments, sorry, goes into the packet, and now these packets are uh, are a sort of um, independent. They are independent to find their way. They can choose any way. They can go from New York to Tokyo by any means. They can find a route through any other country or any other route. Maybe it can go through Asia. Maybe directly go through the uh, you know Tokyo or any other lab. So let me give an uh, example. The first packet can choose the first uh, the topmost path. The second one can choose the even the alternate path as well. The third one can work according and the fourth as well. Now once it reaches on the destination side, that's where the magic happens. All these, these fragmented, uh, you know, all these fragments basically, with the packet as well, get reasoned, okay? So then get reasonable on the destination side, on the recipient side. So that's where these, these fragments get reasonable and pick up the actual image, the, the original image that was scanned, right? And that's how you say your friend, thanks. Right now, now this entire stuff that just happened, of course, it happened very smoothly, but that's where the real technology resides. What do you see on the source side and the destination side? And that's what the TCP IP stack is all about. And this is the foundation of the internet. This is why the internet works so smooth. And you see on the bottom, there's a TCP IP. Okay, that's basically a software suit. The software suit that uh, that uh, basically sits on your computer. That's actually installed on your computer, and I'll show you how that works as well, uh, how you can configure that as well. But remember this: this 
TCP IP is the entire uh, protocol that responsible for doing the fragmentation and resembly on the other side as well. That's how the data transfer that transfer over the internet uh, seamlessly. All right. So I hope you got the idea. We'll catch you in the next session where we'll talk about OSI layers and TCP IP as well. All right. So this was all about how internet works. If you enjoyed watching this video, leave a like. You can also follow me on Twitter. Bye for now.